Lately, we've been talking more about more unorthodox forms of protest, following senators into bathrooms, showing up to their yachts on kayaks to confront them. And I think that's all really important if these people in power refuse to meet with their constituents, if they're actually doing things that hurt people. But not all protest is made equal. Some protests are actually bad, and quite frankly, they're stupid. So there have been protests in New York City over the vaccine mandates, and the vaccine mandates for teachers went into effect officially this week. And people are very angry about this. So they were marching in the streets, and approximately 8,000 teachers or people with the Department of Education of New York City are going to lose their jobs as a result of this. Now, that sounds like a large number, but it's actually a minority of the total people working for the education system in New York. But there was a large protest. They were marching through the streets of NYC. And at Union Square, there is a COVID testing tent. Now, people who were supposedly against vaccine mandates decided to target the COVID testing tent. You'd think that this wouldn't be relevant to what they're protesting about because if you're against mandates, in theory, you should be in favor of testing, right? Because testing is what many people can do in lieu of getting vaccinated if they refuse to take the vaccine. But that's not what these people did. They chose to target this uh, COVID testing tent. It's a mobile tent that is popped up to help people, to help slow the spread. And they trashed it. Take a look. It's really bizarre to me because these people are supposedly against the vaccine mandate specifically, but yet they're booing a COVID testing tent and they're chanting, shame on you. But wait, is this about vaccine mandates or COVID testing? Because you claim that you're protesting vaccine mandates, but yet you seem to be pretty offended by a mobile COVID testing tent. And shout out, by the way, to the guy who was doing The Running Man. Uh, that nurse is truly incredible. That is a Chad move right there. There's really no other way to respond to these people. These people are freaks. These people are are genuinely misinformed. And this isn't an image of uh, that protest, to my knowledge. It's from a different event. But look at how misinformed they are. NYS, freedom to fascism. So they believe that... New York City was in a state of freedom until the vaccine mandates took effect, and then all of a sudden, boom, fascism. That's the way it works, apparently. Except vaccine mandates have always existed. They've always existed. They just don't like the COVID vaccine, and maybe many of them are anti-vax, period. They don't like any vaccines. Either way, this isn't some new phenomenon, so these people don't know what they're talking about. And even the thing that they were ostensibly protesting, vaccine mandates, well, they chose to target a COVID testing tent. 
which has nothing to do with mandates. If anything, that COVID testing tent helps them in many instances, not necessarily here because there's no test out option when it comes to the vaccine mandates pertaining to New York teachers. But still, the, getting tested is the way that you avoid the vaccine if you're an anti-vaxxer. But yet they trashed the tent. I mean, this is why it's not about the vaccines. It's not about the vaccine mandates. This is about them believing that the government has no responsibility or authority whatsoever to take any measures to try to mitigate the spread of the virus. They're just COVID deniers, period. And they can hide behind medical freedom. They could hide behind what they believe is a violation of the Nuremberg Codes, which it's not. They could hide behind their aversion to vaccine mandates and freedom. But these people are just COVID deniers at this point, and they are functionally fighting on the side of the virus. Otherwise, why else would you attack a COVID tent? You just want the virus to spread. You want less people to get tested and you want more people to be exposed. And the reason why so many people are against vaccine mandates is because guess what? They work. So as AP reports, a COVID-19 vaccination requirement for teachers and other staff members took effect in New York City's sprawling public school system Monday in a key test of the employee vaccination mandates now being rolled out across the country. Mayor Bill de Blasio said 95% of the city's roughly 148,000 public school staffers had received at least one vaccine dose as of Monday morning, including 96% of teachers and 99% of principals. Some 43,000 doses have been administered since the mandate was announced August 23rd. Bill de Blasio said vaccination rates rose in every school job category after the mandate was announced. District 37 of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, which represents some 20,000 City Department of Education employees, said 93% of those workers had provided proof of at least one COVID-19 vaccine dose as of Sunday, up from 68% at the beginning of September. In other words, Vaccine mandates don't just work. They work really damn well. They're very, very effective. And this isn't the first time that Americans have rebelled against some sort of a mandate in the name of freedom. We were having a really good conversation about this on Thursday on my Patreon chat, where before the last thing, before seatbelts, of course, was uh, public smoking, right? People were so up in arms when they couldn't smoke indoors anymore. Then there was segregation functionally. There was smoking sections and non-smoking se sections, and they were angered about that because they felt as if they were inferior to their peers because they had to be quarantined in some smoking section. But eventually, smoking was just banned in all indoor spaces, and we still have freedom. Does anyone deny that we have freedom in America because you can't smoke indoors? No, it was a big deal, and then people moved on. Same thing with seatbelts. There were literally people who claimed that they would, wouldn't drive through states with seatbelt laws because they would not condone that violation of their freedom. Do you see anyone protesting the seatbelt laws now? I mean, when it comes to the original vaccine mandates that are required for your children to be enrolled in public schools, that was controversial not really a thing anymore. So this is just an, another chapter in the long history of Americans being dumb fucks and using their entitlement to not do what is in the interest of public health. But these people are the fringes. They are the minority and history will view them as such. History will look down upon them. Polls show that there is broad support for vaccine mandates. So don't let these fringe lunatics trick you into thinking this is some new authoritarian thing or that it's unprecedented for our country. George fucking Washington supported vaccine mandates. George Washington. And I don't think that these flag humping fuckwads would say that George Washington founder of the country is against freedom, would they? As they chant 1776, this is not a new thing. It's not a new thing. Vaccine mandates are good and they're good because they're effective. And one of the main ways we're going to get out of this pandemic is by vaccinating as many people as possible, not just in the United States, but around the world. And it's especially grotesque to know how petulant Americans are being when you consider there are so many people, billions of people in other countries who are begging for a vaccine. And yet Americans are taking that for granted, this life-saving medical miracle, for lack of a better word. They're protesting it.
And the reason why they're so hostile towards that uh, New York vaccine mandate is because it is more strict than other vaccine mandates. It still provides medical and religious exemptions. Medical exemptions are a necessity, of course, but religious exemptions, that's that shouldn't be a thing. That shouldn't be a thing. But one reason why they're mad is because this doesn't allow you to test out. So unlike other mandates, like the one that Joe Biden instituted and is using uh, doing through OSHA, uh, you can test out. You can get weekly tests. But still, that isn't sufficient, and that's not a good way to contain the spread of the virus because in that seven-day period, you can get exposed to COVID, contract it, and spread it to other people. So really, the surefire way to contain the virus is to get vaccinated. And when you consider that a University of Oxford study just found that when it comes to the Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines, they actually reduce transmission of COVID-19, including of the Delta variant, albeit to a lesser extent, vaccinations isn't just about protecting yourself. It's about protecting others. It's a public health crisis. So vaccine mandates are good. And those people there are absolutely petulant imbeciles they're morons, and history will remember them as just that.